1984 Cadillac Fleetwood Brome Delegance. Balboa Blue showing 59,000 original miles. This is a one family car up until I acquired it. I was told that the original owner sold it to his brother and it was passed down through the family to the grandson who enjoyed the car for a time but just didn't have the space for it and wasn't using it enough to justify keeping it so he moved it on. I've got original paperwork for this car in a folder that's uh, full of receipts including the original purchase invoice from Arnold Palmer Cadillac I have the I have two original key fobs for Arnold Palmer Cadillac, two sets of keys. But it's a uh, it's very cool to find them like this, all original, except for the fillers, which were replaced at some point, which is really a sign of how someone appreciated the car. They were replaced with uh, either fiberglass or ABS, one of those gas door fillers also so I got the car it had been sitting to the point that the ethanol fuel had uh, lost its combustibility and actually had seized the uh, the fuel pump so we took the tank down thoroughly cleaned it replaced the fuel sending unit the fuel pump fuel filter and the rubber hoses going to the hard lines the car started up perfectly when, once we did that on some hot gas. I put four brand new Galaxy Vitour tires on them with the wide white walls and uh, the car drove down the road beautifully. Replaced the water pump and the alternator as well. Of course, along with that, did the uh, thermostat and replaced the coolant. So this car is sort of at a stopping point for me. My first goal when I get one is to get it mechanically sound, which I believe that's where it is now. I wouldn't be afraid to take it somewhere. And then I have to sort of assess to see what I'm going to do with it. Now, I've got a lot of these projects, and I have come to the, uh, to the decision that I'm going to go ahead and let some of these go in a partial, uh, partially finished state, I guess you could say. I kind of would like to do more on this car, but I have to pick my battles. I have a lot of cars waiting in the wings. I have a lot of projects that I need to give my attention to, and I gotta make some tough choices, but um, this is one that looks good. It has most, mostly original paint. However, uh, the top side paint surfaces are a little thin. Sides are straight, but you have a few little spots here and there, um, especially on the trunk. You can tell it's the original painted pinstripe. But I want to show you why the thing that really pushed me over the edge on getting this car is the interior. That gorgeous velour, the elegance interior. Now I'm someone, all things being equal, I would pick velour over leather. The velour wears better. I think it's more comfortable, softer and just so elegant that velvety look front and back seats the front carpet is beautiful it had clear rubber floor mats over the original cadillac floor mats which are still there this car was loved no cracks in the dashboard the steering wheel is immaculate the door panels there's no nap uh, worn off the top of these door panels like you see sometimes it's just really well preserved and uh, I appreciate that kind of thing. The chrome is nice again being from the south you're not dealing with any rust issues look at those seats all the weather stripping on the doors is nice someone put these vent shades on the car sometime in the past which Apparently are hard to find these days. So if you like them, this has them. If you don't, they come off easily. But the chrome, uh, I mentioned the chrome, it's really in really good shape. 
if you look across the front face bar excellent the back bumper as well just really really nice straight solid body curl on the door handles mirror and of course it is a D elegance Let's see if I can get a good shot of the rear bumper demonstrate just how nice that chrome is I'll get some shots from underneath the car when I get it uh, to the shop on the lift but here's where it's getting a little thin along the edges original lacquer paint this is typical for those who know these cars you're gonna see this sort of thing on the leading edges so there's that the top is very presentable however it, it is a little faded and I would say a little thin and what I mean by that is it's uh, it's just starting to to show its age and dry out some uh, there are a few of these little spots where you can see some minor minor cracking maybe where an acorn fell on it in the fall or something like that or maybe it's just a that's what I think those are when you see them like a little circle like that I think that's where something in the winter or the fall or something hit it who knows golf ball something but it's very straight it's quiet but you know it needs a few little things to get it to that next level and I've decided to let someone else do that oh we got a B okay pop the hood here oh middle armrests uh, no nap worn off edge of the seat you have a tiny spot right here looks like that little welt um, popped but the armrest is excellent not even up here where a lot of people lay their elbow or their arm not, nothing showing anywhere there the only spot I saw in the interior there's a little bit of this contact vinyl on the wood grain or someone must have scratched it with their uh, claws <laughs> that bee following me he must like the camera very clean under the hood it is a 4100 that's all you could get in 84 so I did uh, again we did the fuel pump did the water pump the alternator belts I I think I have a hose to go with it uh, they didn't have it in stock when we did the job so I figured I would just go back later I've got the new hose I'll send it with the car but you can see on the valve cover how nice and clean everything is and of course you know we cleaned it up ourselves once we were in there pretty deeply I don't know who's ever replaced a water pump on a, on a car like this but it's takes a long time almost everything has to come off the front um, oh battery of course we replaced that the hood insulation is nice everything's good and tight nothing stiff or rusty just a good honest car so for someone looking for uh, a really nice brome de elegance at a price that's affordable and makes sense I think this might be a good option for you it's so tempting to uh, to keep them all try to fix them all but I just have to be realistic about what I can get done and uh, someone else can enjoy taking this one to its completion uh, what we'll do is we'll take it for a ride and uh, maybe get it out in the sunlight where you can see the color a little better but, uh, and maybe a, a little better lighting for the interior let's take a look in the trunk oh here are the uh, there's the Arnold Palmer key fob actually two of them Very clean. You know, one place these cars can get rusty 
is right up here. You can see there's no such thing. Good trunk liner. There's one spot over here. I don't know what. It looks like it's burned. I must have put something that was way too hot in there. Can't imagine. But it's got the very cool locking gas cap feature, which works when you uh, operate the power door locks. Move it to the lock position. This won't come loose. It's fairly uncommon to see that. All the chrome back here is good. So, we'll go down the road with it. <laughs>